Other than the goods selling services, our Universe Galaxy Bank also has the goods buying services, however our purchasing prices are based off of the normal prices. The female robotic voice was clear and crisp, she smiled and was incomparably respectful. I picked the goods selling services. Luo Feng said, even though the selling services required the thousandth commission fee, the selling prices were usually not bad, even giving away the commission would still far exceed the original buying price of the bank. Beside him was the experienced and knowledgeable Babata, making sure Luo Feng wouldn't make any losses. These are the 48 items I need to sell. Luo Feng swiftly processed through his AI Babata, passing along the detailed information of the 48 treasures to the female AI. 48 items, our Universe Galaxy Bank can immediately begin posting and selling through the virtual universe. The female AI smiled, please confirm. Dot the location of these 48 items and the time of transfer to our bank. Ganwu Star Sector, Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, Milky Ways by Land Star. Luo Feng reported the details and time. The time was 8 days from now, after he reaches by Land Star. Time and location confirmed. The female AI smiled, please sign the selling release form. A contract floated before Luo Feng. It was very detailed including both parties' responsibilities and liabilities, along with the violation penalties etc. Dai, the selling release form has been completed. The female AI smiled, respected five-star client, is there anything else I can help you with? Nothing. Luo Feng laughed as he stood up and turned towards the entrance, leaving immediately. Rumble, the luxurious room immediately vanished and returned to its original self-service booth. Five-star clients, as the most absolute and important clients of the Universe Galaxy Bank, the bank had made many privileges and services available for only them. However, since they were services, they required money too. However in the universe, if one didn't have a proper route, even if one had money, one couldn't do certain things. For example, selling these 48 treasures. If he tried to sell them in the Black Dragon Mountain Star Field, it would simply result in chaos. However through the Universe Galaxy Bank, he could sell within many large universe countries without creating any commotion for himself. 48 treasures, they could just about reach up to 10 or 20% of Sector Lord Kabu's entire wealth. However Sector Lord Kabu, compared to the Yunmo planet's master, was incomparably poor. After 7 months, Luo Feng and his brothers returned to Bai Lan Star, a life planet very close to Earth. Luo Feng and his group spent three months within the world of thunder. In the world within a world, first excavating for universe crystals and later for thunder stones for a month, after which battling for another 1.5 months. Including the time returning to Kang Land Star from the world within a world and later from Kang Land Star to Earth. It was about seven months in all. Year 2063, mid-April, Luo Feng left Earth. China time, year 2063 November 16th 1.16 pm, a universe ship entered by Land Star. Within the ship's control room, Luo Feng and his brothers surveyed the warehouse below, in front of the warehouses was an exquisite and beautiful universe ship with the Universe Galaxy Bank logo, it was streamlined shape and gave off an incomparably dreamy feeling. 30, the deal with those treasures, just that simple. Thunder God looked at the ship below. Right, just that simple, I just have to pass the treasures to them and it's over. Luo Feng smiled. They won't kill and rob. Thunder God looked uneasily at the ship below. Ha ha. Luo Feng laughed, second brother, this is the Universe Galaxy Bank, and you've seen that ship, it's a grade 3 ship. This represents incredible wealth. For entities like the Universe Galaxy Bank, the Universe First Bank, these two super large banks, they emphasize trust the most. Even with items thousands and tens of thousands of times more expensive than our 48 treasures, they wouldn't even blink an eye. Don't be petty. What's more? When I go make the deal, the entire scene will be recorded by the bank's AI system, those bank workers wouldn't dare kill and rob us. Luo Feng smiled, the moment they dare betray us, they would simply go, pop, and explode. During their conversation, the ship landed on the surface. Hua, the cabin door opened, Luo Feng, Hong, Thunder God and Algu jumped out, immediately flying straight towards the dreamy looking ship, the door on the streamlined ship opened and three men in Universe Galaxy Bank uniforms stood there, one of which was a domain lord, the other two were also universe level. Sir, please pass your goods to me. The domain lord smiled humbly and respectfully, even though he could see easily that the ones before him were only star levels. 
However, the level of this deal was extremely high, and every move he made was being recorded by the bank's AI system, hence he had to act according to the bank's requests, humble and full of respect, and he had to smile. These are the goods. Luo Feng passed over a storage ring. Qi, a dreamy blur beam of light shot out from the universe ship onto the storage ring, within a second, a voice resounded, goods confirmed. Sir, the deal is a success, thank you for your support of the Universe Galaxy Bank. The Domain Lord bowed slightly, his face slightly twitching. A Domain Lord bowing to a few star levels. Ha ha, then I won't send you, we'll be leaving. Luo Feng laughed and turned to go. The Domain Lord and two Universe levels returned to their ship, within the ship, their expressions were strange and puzzled. It was actually a few star levels dealing with this, what a joke. We even had to bow to them earlier. How uncomfortable. The two universe levels were incredibly dissatisfied, the domain lord beside them creased his green eyebrows, our service level is incredibly high, usually we deal with undying beings. Occasionally we deal with sector lords. This time we actually dealt with some star level punks, however they may be from some ultra large families or even disciples of some superpower. The other two universe levels nodded. Right, their team's dealings were usually with much higher leveled customers. All either four-star or five-star clients, and under normal circumstances, four-star clients were normally undying or lucky sector lords who struck windfalls. As for five-star clients, those were without a doubt super powerful beings that could easily shake and tremor countless galaxies. Whining about it for a bit is okay, but never reveal any bit of information about the client, otherwise we'll be dealt with by the bank, don't say I didn't warn you. The green-haired domain lord exclaimed. Yes sir. The two universe levels complied. After Luo Feng and his team had finished the deal on Bailan Star, they sat in the universe ship and left, engaging in universe travel heading towards their home, Earth. Within the control room. Ha ha ha, a domain lord bowing to us. Thunder God laughed satisfied. Unbelievable. Hong exclaimed. First and second brother. Luo Feng laughed as he looked at him. The money has already been transferred to my account, everything according to our old distribution agreement. Stop. Thunder God shook his head, I don't want it, you gave me the five set thunder techniques, just getting that spent a large amount of thunderstones, about 20% of our entire stock. What's more within that set there was even a living AI, that old Wu, allowing me to gain the inheritance of Sector Lord Kabu, accurately speaking, I've had the greatest earnings. Don't give me anything, what a stroke of luck actually getting Sector Lord Kabu's inheritance. Hong smiled, that Sector Lord must have prepared everything for him. Luo Feng smiled and nodded. He himself had acquired an inheritance from his teacher, split into three different accounts. What his second brother acquired shouldn't be too far off. Big brother, Luo Feng looked at Hong. I have enough money, if you want to give me anything. Doc get me another life fruit next time. Hong said, one life fruit would be about 20%. Life fruit, Luo Feng nodded. Life fruit, even though within that world within a world, it required a total of 800,000 thunderstones. However, in reality outside, it was hard to even buy one if one wanted, and if one acquired one, the price was extremely shocking, the 20% he acquired would maybe even be insufficient. Very well, Luo Feng nodded, then I'll first enter the Virtual Universe Network. Virtual Universe, Black Dragon Mountain Island 9 Star Bay. Luo Feng's study, a screen was before him. So many messages. Luo Feng sat at the chair, opening the first one. Respected client, how are you? Your account with this has just received 1.123 trillion universe dollars, your accounts has passed the 10 mixed element units threshold, one mixed element is the highest denominator, each mixed element is equivalent to 1 trillion universe dollars, automatically rising to a 3 star account. You also automatically rise to become our respected 3 star client. As a 3 star client, you have several special privileges. The bottom of the mail displays the special privileges and their explanations. Universe Galaxy Bank. The first email, was a huge transfer email. Over 11 trillion, Luo Feng looked and held his breath. 11 trillion universe dollars, what concept was that? Normally within the universe, one galaxy was worth about 100 billion, 0.1 trillion. In other words, Luo Feng's wealth was equivalent to about tens of galaxies. And a sector lord usually joining any empire would only receive one galaxy, of course as long as they worked hard, getting a few of them wasn't hard. 11 trillion universe dollars, equivalent to tens of galaxies. It was definitely comparable to a sector lord's wealth level. 
Within the universe, the true forms of currency are mainly two. One is the universe crystal, universe dollars. These are energy crystals condensed by a sector lord's power and formed. The other is the undying crystal, undying dollars. These are special energy crystals condensed by undying and their power of the universe origin sources. They are even more valuable. However, the universe dollars works as currency more within the market and deals. As for the undying dollars, they are used within war and battle equipment. No matter which human race, or other races, they are all unwilling to sell their undying crystals. Babita's voice resounded in Luo Feng's mind. As for the mixed element unit, it's a large amount used frequently by the superpowers during their deals. Luo Feng blinked his eyes hard. Within a blink of an eye he had suddenly become a wealthy person capable of owning tens of galaxies. Don't get excited, this little bit of wealth doesn't mean much in the vast universe. You are only a three-star client. In the vast universe, you are only a small shrimp, a few tens of galaxies. Just moderately affluent, Babata said, work and train hard. When you reach the domain lord and inherit your teacher's five-star account, you'll be rich. All right, I'm just a little shrimp. Luo Feng smiled, looking at the screen. Including the letter he was looking at, there were a total of seven messages, of which five were from the Universe Galaxy Bank, the sixth was from the Virtual Universe Company, the seventh from the Battle Axe Coliseum. Die. Luo Feng gently tapped the screen, opening the second message. Greetings, respected client. Are you constantly putting large amounts of money into your account and having to withdraw when you need it? I have to remind you that this is an extremely low efficiency way of utilizing your money. As long as you pass it to us to circulate, you will constantly receive increases and rewards, we can guarantee, there will be no losses. As for the rewards, according to the trends, there will be slight differences in the amount every year, our highest record for a user in history has been over 100% before. Right, as long as you pass 1 trillion universe dollars for us to handle, one year later, it could very likely become 2 trillion universe dollars. Even in bad situations, we can guarantee no losses. Here are some of the achievements randomly picked out by our investment department. Luo Feng couldn't help but laugh, raising his finger and gently opening the third. Greetings, respected client. Our team has the greatest planet management skills. Do you have a large amount of planet territories? However, they are not giving you enough rewards and earnings. As long as you pass them to us to manage, we will cultivate the highest and most elite warriors, loyal soldiers, at the same time ensuring the earnings of every planet, the efficiency will greatly increase. Also, we can help set up a sect or a large and strong family. A sect, family, dynasty, school. You can pick any plan and allow us help you manage your territory. Luo Feng read all five messages in one go. The second message is from the Universe Galaxy Bank's investment department. They want me to allow them to use my money to invest and trade stocks. The third message is a service, saying I can pay to allow them to help manage my planets, helping me cultivate loyal underlings. Also with different plans like a sect, family etc. The fourth is asking to help me invest and trade in the stock market, the higher the percentage of returns, the greater the risks. The fifth, is just for my relaxation, providing different forms of services. Luo Feng shook his head, two of the five above messages were about investment and stock trading, one with a guaranteed no loss policy while the other had uncertain risks, and according to what he understood from his little brother, the financial market in the universe was very dark, the two super banks would absorb lots of ordinary people's money to form a large power and battle the tides. They normally used ordinary people's money to specially raise themselves into a sedan chair. Luo Feng, the sixth and seventh male are important, you should take a look. Babata said. Hmm, Luo Feng was shocked, very important. The sixth male was from the virtual universe company. Luo Feng raised his finger and opened it. Greetings. The moment you became a three-star client, you gained the right to participate in the Ganwu auction. In the universe, several treasures and items belong to an extra high level and grade, and many others are hard to purchase even if one had the money. And the auction our virtual universe company organizes is specially to allow people to be able to purchase such items. The Ganwu auction is organized once every three years. The lowest requirement to enter the auction is to be a three-star client in either the Universe First Bank or the Universe Galaxy Bank. The next Ganwu auction will be in two years. As for the specific details, please look at the attachment below. Virtual Universe Company. Luo Feng looked seriously at the screen before him. The requirements for this Ganwu auction were indeed high. 
the lowest actually being a three-star client at either of the two superbanks. And three-star clients were normally sector lords, or large wealthy people with great amounts of power, to allow a group of sector lords to take part in an auction. Luo Feng, in the Ganwu auction, there will be many incomparably valuable treasures, like the life fruit, along with some level 5 weapons that only Undying could forge, and other high-level weapons, all these can be seen at the auction. To the strong, this auction is very important. Babata reminded, only through this auction will you be able to get certain items. Luo Feng nodded. Of course, this is only the most basic auction. The auctions the Virtual Universe Company organizes are split into the basic, middle and high-level auctions. The basic auction, the lowest requirement is to be a three-star client and normal three-star clients are sector lords. The middle-level auction, the lowest requirement is a four-star client and normal four-star clients are undying. Hence, the middle-level auctions are usually filled with undying participating. Every treasure at the auction, I'm afraid even your entire fortune won't be enough to buy even one. The high-level auctions, the lowest requirement is to be a five-star client. Hmm, these auctions. Dot the ones participating are the large organizations, the Leviathans. Or some superpowers within the Ganwu universe country or other universe countries, or some super undyings who work alone. The high level auctions, every treasure is incomparably expensive. However, one high level auction, just the preparation time is usually very long, and the items are what undying would risk everything to get, some trying hard but not getting them, like your teacher. Luo Feng was shocked. His teacher the master of the Yun Mo planet, lost his life back then for a certain item. A three-star client, within the Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, is quite impressive. However in the entire universe, it's just average. As for the auctions, you can only participate in your own empire's auction, the Ganwu auction. You don't have the rights to enter others. Babata said. Luo Feng nodded. These auctions had huge requirements. People without background or money wouldn't even have heard of them. Even the basic auction, the lowest requirement was to be a three-star client. The next Ganwu auction will be two years and one month from now. Luo Feng secretly anticipated, this level of auction, he definitely had to participate. Luo Feng sat in his study, finishing up the introduction of the auction, feeling even more anxious, there would indeed be many valuable treasures there. The last message is from the Battle Axe Colosseum. Luo Feng raised his finger and opened it curiously. This message was a notification. When he became a three-star client, he automatically gained the title of bronze member. He could go watch the battles of the Battle Axe Coliseum. Battle Axe Coliseum, a membership, is it important? Luo Feng asked suspiciously. The membership himself isn't, however. The live broadcast of the Battle Axe Coliseum battles are important. The little devil the size of a huge fist on Luo Feng's shoulder emphasized, every battle the Battle Axe Coliseum organizes a life or death. At least one must die before the battle will end. Hence these battles. Dot are very valuable to watch. They are very important and rewarding to one's training and realization. Hmm. Luo Feng nodded. Along with this message came an attachment of the list of the upcoming battles. Luo Feng opened it. Death battles within the next seven days. A total of 6,201 battles. Luo Feng stared wide-eyed. There are 6,118 universe level battles, 82 domain lord battles and one sector lord battle. Luo Feng took a deep chilly breath. Within the short span of seven days, there were so many death battles. And even a sector lord level death battle. That's normal, the battle axe Colosseum spreads over every empire in the universe. One empire alone is vast and enormous. With all of them added together, with so many death battles in the next seven days, that's normal. Babata explained, look, of these 6,201 death battles, the ones belonging to the Ganwu universe are only these three. On the list, the universe death battles, 6,118 of them were arranged according to the number of viewers from highest to lowest. The most anticipated life and death battle was one where both fighters were at the level 6 stage. Universe level 6 stage, so many people spectating. Luo Feng curiously opened the battle to view the details. Both of them came from the Desolate Peaks universe country. One was named Genji and was from the Lu Shu clan. The other was Hanks, a slave from a slave owner. Genji was born on planet Lu Shu and their living environment is extremely hostile, with many wild beasts roaming the land killing weaker and smaller Lu Shu people. Only the strong survived. 
and the genius of the clan Genji very quickly rose from the planet and reached star traveler level, even star level, arousing the attention of the leaders of the planet. Genji later became an elite soldier of one of the leaders. He constantly worked hard and his position rose greater, with the leader later giving him more benefits and privileges. Genji became the leader of the Lu Shu planet and the hero of the Lu Shu clan. However later, the leader angered a large enemy and came under attack. Many of the planets he owned including Lu Xu were robbed away with many Lu Xu clan people becoming slaves. Genji worked hard to reach the universe level, after which he sold himself to the Battle Axe Colosseum. The Battle Axe Colosseum brought him over from the original leader, and Genji had to experience 1000 battles within the Battle Axe Colosseum. If he survived, he would recover his freedom. Hanks lived on a very normal planet, leading a normal life. Many youths on this planet, including the young Hanks was taken by a slave trader forcefully. This slave trader took many slaves and began his hellish training, with many failed subjects being eliminated and sold off as slaves, while the elites continued training. Hanks was one of the elites. Becoming star level and breaking through to the universe level. However because of the microchip, he remained a slave. Later on he grew incredibly strong, being sold off as a simple universe level alone wasn't worth it, hence the slave trader made a deal with him. As long as he could survive through 1000 death battles in the Battle Axe Colosseum, he would be returned his freedom. This was because the longer one survived within the Battle Axe Colosseum, the higher the appearance fees. And this was much more than simply selling him off. The slave trader was very clear. Only by allowing the slave to truly wish and anticipate his freedom, would he truly unleash his strongest abilities within the battles. Hence he gave him the deal that if he made it through 1000 battles, he would regain his freedom. Genji, 691 wins. Hanks, 821 wins. Both universe level 6. This battle was the highest profile battle within the upcoming 7 days, out of the over 6000 battles within the universe's Battle Axe Colosseum. Genji, fighter, with a domain level 5. Hanks, Spirit Reader Controller with a Domain Level 4. To be able to have Domains Level 4 and 5 within the Universe Level 6, these two were definitely considered geniuses. The most important thing was these two had high battle abilities, many other similar Level 4, 5 and even 6 level Domains geniuses had all lost their lives to them. 691 wins, 821 wins. These two were definitely veterans within the Battle Axe Colosseum. These two people, Luo Feng exclaimed softly to himself. Looking at their backstory, Genji was doing it for his family and clan. Hanks was a slave forced by his trader. And amongst them one definitely had to die. This battle, we definitely have to watch it. Luo Feng carefully looked at the information on the screen, one hour. Universe ship, via universe travel, from by land star to earth, took about eight hours. Luo Feng immediately dragged Hong and Thunder God along to watch the battle. Battle Axe Colosseum, one of the five leviathans of the human race. In the virtual universe network, a space was specially created here, on it was a wide river that traveled throughout the entire space, its strength was shocking, and on this seemingly endless river floated several islands, on each of them were dojos. Island number 08921. This was a snow-covered island, its most daunting construct was a huge dojo, at the center of it was an empty plot of land, surrounding it were blurred large amounts of seats. The second, third, and fourth level of the dojo were all private rooms. Only members were allowed into the private rooms. And normal spectators could only watch from the bleachers far away. I've got my eye on Genji, his blade skills are impressive, every time I see his skills, I get a very dreamy feeling. Dot one filled with the energy of life. He'll definitely win. Betting on Genji, his payouts are very low. So what if they are low, his payouts are 1 to 1.31, and Hanks is 1 to 2.68. From the management side of the Battle Axe Coliseum, it's obvious they too are betting on Genji. Who cares about the low payout, as long as I earn money. If Genji wins, I'll have earned a lot, I'll bet on him. I'll bet on Hanks, there might be an upset. I bet 600,000 universe dollars. Only 600,000 universe dollars, I bet 2 million universe dollars that Genji will win. I bet 1 million universe dollars, just for fun. Three beastmen with green horns dressed in luxurious clothes sat in the spectators' seats and discussed. Suddenly in the alleyway beside them, a silver-haired handsome man carrying a child walked towards the staircase beside and swiftly climbed up. Going up, the bank account must be at least three stars. 
Who is that man with silver hair? No idea. We three brothers only recognize people from our starfield. In these places, many others, including us, aren't from the same empire. Who would know? The three with green horns discussed. At the same time, another five went upstairs. As the start of the battle drew closer, more people filled the arena, levels of blurred silhouettes of guests had filled over half of the seats, with at least 100,000 people, and many others upstairs. To be able to enter the private rooms upstairs, one's bank account had to be at least three stars or even higher. Look at those three punks, those eyes filled with curiosity, that demeanor, one look and one can tell their country bumpkins that have never seen such things before. I agree with Big Brother, from the interactions and gazes that I've had with people before, these three seem lowly and uneducated, can't be anyone big. I agree too. The three beastmen with green horns looked at three youths walking in the distant alleyway, the three were chatting and laughing, looking around curiously at the arena's construct, following which, the three two began their climb upstairs. The three beastmen immediately stared wide-eyed, they had actually miscalculated. Three star clients. I've seen ghosts. How could I actually misread them? Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God swiftly went upstairs, entering their private room according to their ticket. As a member, one had a private room to himself and he could bring his family, friends, servants etc. to enjoy the match. As for how many he brought, it was totally up to the member. However the private room was only that big and the more people one brings, the tighter it got. Third brother, this battle axe coliseum is indeed forthright. From what I saw earlier, to watch a match like this, the ticket prices are very expensive. And a member can actually watch like this for free. Thunder God exclaimed, and from walking in earlier, from the crowds of people in the seats, I heard from the discussions that all of their bets were at least in the hundreds of thousands of universe dollars, up to millions, so rich. Hong smiled, to be able to come here, even those on the first level, many must be planet leaders. Right. Luo Feng smiled and nodded, right, one trillion black dragon dollars was akin to 300,000 universe dollars. Meaning to say those people were casually betting up to tens of planets at a go. They were definitely people with background and money from their own star fields. No matter how much background and reputation, they still weren't members. Battle Axe Coliseum members, the lowest requirement was at least a three-star client. Normally only sector lords had this sort of status. In the Black Dragon Mountain Starfield, only the 16 large families had such people, and even though they had sector lords, they weren't definitely three-star clients. Welcome ladies and gentlemen from the universe. This death battle is about to begin immediately, please everyone hurry and make your bets, there isn't much time left. Genji winning, payout 1 to 1.31. Hanks, payout is 1 to 2.68. If both die together, payout is 1 to 81. Yes 81 times payout, for opponents who are so evenly matched, there might very likely come a situation where both perish. A booming voice, using perfect universe language reverberated around the room and in everyone's ears, only 5 minutes remain to bet, everyone please hurry and bet. Within the private room, first time here, we should make a bet. Thunder God smiled, big brother, 30, who are you going to bet on? I bet on Hanks, Hong said seriously, looking at him. I remember back when I was a youth and trained as an assassin. His struggles are tens of millions of times greater than mine. Slave traders make their slaves go through hell. I believe he should win. I bet on him. Dot 100 million universe dollars. 100 million. Luo Feng looked shocked at Hong. How much money Hong had, Luo Feng was very clear. He had given him 4 billion universe dollars before, and with the universe crystal separation, he had another 1 billion universe crystals. In terms of wealth, Hong's exceeded only 5 billion universe dollars. Throwing 100 million down like this, it seems like Hong was really into it. I choose Genji, 100 million universe dollars, I feel like his chances are bigger. Thunder God said, 30, how about you? Me, Luo Feng looked through the window of the private room. Right at the center of the Battle Axe Coliseum, a large screen displayed the two warriors and their information. That Hanks. Dot was extremely cold as though he stepped out of hell. That Genji, his eyes seemed firm and solid, with a sense of anticipation, smiling frequently. I choose him, Genji. Luo Feng said, also 100 million universe dollars. He didn't know why but as he looked at Genji, thinking about how this warrior was fighting for his home and clan, fighting to regain his home planet's freedom and to never let them become slaves again, 
selling himself to the Battle Axe Colosseum when he couldn't deal with the enemy and fighting for survival. Luo Feng somewhat resonated with him. He too had such huge pressure on him, and the threat of the Nuolan Shan family still hasn't been extinguished. However, unlike Zhenj, Luo Feng had several more trump cards in hand. I wish for your success, to be able to survive 1000 battles. Luo Feng thought to himself. Virtual Universe, Arena 08921. Betting end. Ladies and gentlemen, this death battle will begin immediately. The warriors in this death battle are the fighter Genji and the spirit reader controller Hanks. They are both universe level 6. The location of this battle is in desolate peak universe country, Red Bird Starfield on a normal uninhabited planet. Right now, we'll begin the live broadcast of the battle. Following which, the entire dojo became dark and a snow-white planet appeared in the center of the arena, it constantly expanded and on its surface, the winds howled with hail and snow dancing about in the wind. Vaguely, one could see among the winds and rubble, two human silhouettes. One dressed in a dark blue robe, in boots and carrying a battle knife and round shield, a cold-looking youth. He was Genji. Opposite, dressed in black armor, long hair flying, his face with a scar, with two sabers at his waist, a long white dragon flying about his body. He was Hanks. Death battle, location on a desolate planet. Among the two of them, only one would live and leave the planet. Begin. A thick voice resounded from space, hitting the two warriors' ears on the planet. On this planet's incomparably thin atmosphere, one dressed in golden armor and boots, a bald warrior surveyed below, he, a domain lord warrior, was the overseer of this death battle, if any one of them dared to flee before the battle was decided, he would immediately kill him. A universe level battle, with a domain lord overseer. Domain lord level battle, sector lord overseer. A sector lord battle, undying overseer. This was the rule of the Battle Axe Coliseum, the moment one signed and agreed to battle, there was no way out. Lu Xu, the blue-robed youth muttered to himself, following which his eyes gleamed and like two lasers, gazed hard at the distant black-clothed man. 822 victories. The black-clothed man hanks, his eyes filled with incomparably strong killing intent, like a devil from hell. Rumble, rumble, the howling winds and rubble were blown apart. However the huge Axe Dojo's camera was swift and incomparably clear, capturing every bit of the battle, also transferring to the Virtual Universe Network, displaying at 08921 Arena. Everyone at the arena could clearly see the entire battle scene. Seal. The black-clothed man Hanks floated in mid-air, the earth and sand dancing about him, with a shout, the snow-white dragon circling about him stopped, what was originally complex silver-white embroidery on the surface began to glow and form that long dragon. Peng. The large amount of embroidery dispersed, swiftly filling up the surrounding land and skies, every bit glowing brightly, turning the entire world around silver white in an instant. Hank's domain, snow ice domain. This can't stop me. Dressed in a blue robe, the man took one step at a time towards Hank's. While it seemed slow, it was actually fast as lightning. While walking, the blue robed silhouette actually created three mirror images, making one unable to discern immediately which was the true body. All three of them were staring hard together at Hank, their gaze sharp as needles. It's no use. The black-clothed Hank stared coldly. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Thirty-nine needles swiftly formed into a silver-thin snake, as fast as lightning piercing towards the three blue-robed images, following several, G sounds, two of the images were destroyed while the blue-robed Genji remained with a strong aura emanating around him. Genji held a shield, that shield swiftly formed a tight defense about him making the silver-thin snake unable to get around it. The blue-robed man walked one step at a time, his formless aura getting stronger and stronger. His battle knife in his other hand, hadn't even been used yet. Virtual universe, within the private room of the dojo. Luo Feng and his brothers watched with anticipation, beads of perspiration falling from their foreheads, Hong exclaimed softly, unbelievable, relying on the shield, he can actually defend like that almost as though there are no openings at all from all directions completely sealed in. This, this is simply too exaggerated. His methods and skills have already reached such an unbelievable level. It is unbelievable. Thunder God held his breath. Impressive. Luo Feng too used a shield, hence he was even clearer of how terrifying that Genji was. That Hanks too is impressive. He actually fused his spirit weapon with his domain, forming an invincible snow ice domain. There was always someone above. Luo Feng and his brothers always thought they were pretty strong. However watching these two warriors in this death battle, 
whether it was their mental state, domain level, shield skills, spirit reader skills, they far exceeded that of themselves. However from the looks of it, Genji might win. Thunder God creased his eyebrows. Right, Luo Feng nodded. Right, Hong exclaimed, that Genji's aura has totally suppressed his opponent, and his shield skills make him impenetrable, and he hasn't even used his sword, the moment he unleashes it, it would definitely be invincible. Desolate star. The youth dressed in blue armor Genji, seemed to move slowly, however in a blink of an eye he actually closed in a few kilometers of distance, floating in mid-air and using all his power to control the spirit weapon to attack, Hanks seemed frantic, gritting his teeth. Three dragon. Break. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Needles swiftly gathered and formed three silver-thin snakes, madly surrounding and attacking Genji. Genji snorted softly, using strength from his legs, leaving behind a crater as he jumped, his entire battle knife in his hand had already become a blurry green image, engulfing Hanks who was in mid-air. And Hanks simultaneously drew both his swords on his waist, holding each in one hand and becoming a beam of light. Kiang, 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 Kiang. The exchange between the two universe-level warriors, the impact from their clashes created immensely strong ripples, immediately causing large scars and wearing down the first layer of the ground, then another few tens of meters lower, the entire area around them, tens of kilometers immediately was reduced to waste, the wave spread and dispersed in every direction. With every heavy attack and clash, the ripples spread further and violently in every direction, causing the area around them to get swept away. Block, block, block. Genji muttered below his breath, the sword in his hand maintaining its incomparably graceful elegance as it slashed towards Hanks, forming a dreamy green sword silhouette, looking at it, it's almost as though one was looking at a little blade of grass breaking through from the ground, getting stronger as it grew. That continuous thriving life force, gave off the feeling of limitless energy. Hanks' forehead began to perspire with beads dripping down. He grit his teeth and continued to dodge, at the same time parrying the attacks and controlling his spirit weapon to attack violently at Genji, occasionally using spirit attack techniques too. Helpless. Genji wasn't affected at all. That knife work which was so full of life parried and attacked over and over, getting stronger and stronger, again and again. Within the private room. Genji has won. Hanks can't take it anymore. Luo Feng said, looking at the virtual screen in the center of the dojo, those eyes filled with hope, knife work filled with limitless life energy, Genji. 30, if Genji wins, we earn big money. Thunder God smiled. It's not over yet. Hong's expression was serious. Amongst the three of them, Luo Feng resonated with Genji's life and story, Hong however resonated with Hanks. The two were watching with anticipation at their champions, of course, if Hanks died, Luo Feng would still feel sorrow and regret. However in this death battle, one of them had to die, there was no other way. Hmm, Luo Feng's expression changed. There's hope. Hong's eyes gleamed. That's weird. Thunder God stared wide-eyed. Wow, a special situation has arrest. Ha ha, the tables are about to turn. Shocked cries filled the entire dojo suddenly, all engaged in discussion. One had to know that surprise situations within the death battles were rare. These death battles relied on the exponent's strengths, and Genji's was indeed above that of Hank's, whether it was shield or sword skills, while defending and attacking simultaneously, it was incomparably perfect. And Genji's mental state was extremely strong, his soul's defense was strong too, soul attacks or hypnotism didn't affect him at all. Hence, even the payout given by the Battleaxe Coliseum was much lower to Genji, obviously they had deemed that he was much stronger than Hanks. However now, he's evolved. This Hanks, in the face of death, actually managed to realize part of the origin laws. It's indeed the origin laws, it should be the water origin laws. Even though he's just come to understand it, he's still stepped through a very large door. Ha ha, this death battle, we actually managed to see something like that, it's worth it. Luo Feng and his brothers listened to the discussion from the bleacher stands, they knew very little about the origin laws, however at this time, they could clearly see a large change in the situation of Genji and Hank's death battle. The clashes causes ripples that tremored the ground greatly, creating incomparably large shockwaves below. The two silhouettes moved as fast as lightning. Chi, chi, chi. Hank's eyes gleamed, his snow ice domain had engulfed the entire land and earth, his three silver thin snakes seemed alive again, almost as though three slippery thin snakes, they surrounded Genji and madly attacked. Genji used his shield to defend, however, he seemed frantic, no longer as relaxed as before. 
Kiang, Kiang, Genji not only used the shield, but also his battle knife to defend. No, no, Genji began to perspire profusely, his defense with the shield and sword had already reached their limit. Floating in the distance, the black-clothed Hanks surveyed over this scene, his eyes flashed and the three silver-thin snakes' attack speeds actually rose and grew again, causing Genji to be unable to defend, a thin silver light brushed through the shield and it actually caused this silver-thin snake to explode. However its front half, with needles that had formed a silver light actually pierced through Genji's head. Silence. All the needles stopped their attack and floated in mid-air, they swiftly gathered together, along with the surrounding needles, forming a round disc, landing beside Hanks. Dressed in a blue armor, with a smashing sound, his knees landed on the ground, following which his body fell gradually. Ha ha ha, run quickly, here to daddy. Daddy, daddy. Genji, in his dazed eyes seemed to clearly see that beautiful grass field, on it were his adorable five-year-old daughter who was laughing, chasing large silhouette, shouting, daddy, daddy. That grass field in his dreams, his, Genji's most beautiful grass field. His home, the place he had to protect. Lu Xu, Lu Xu. At the instant his soul shattered, he muttered his home's name. Peng. His body crashed on the ground, blood seeped out from his forehead, even though it didn't seem like too much of a wound. In truth his brain and consciousness had already been pierced through, his soul was broken. The winds howled loudly. The black-clothed man Hanks flew over from far, landing on the ground beside, looking at the blue-robed corpse. Hanks slowly knelt down, gently rubbing Genji's eyes to closing him, however, he felt his hands get a little wet. Hanks looked at his hands, the liquid was clear, tears. I'm sorry. Hanks lowered his head to look at Genji's body, saying softly, I, just want to go home. During every battle, Hanks always seemed vicious and unfeeling, however, after every battle, he would apologize. Hanks closed his eyes. The beautiful memory of his planet, his home. He, it has already been thousands of years since he has returned. 822, another 178 matches and I can go home. Hanks stood up. Rumble. He rushed towards the sky. Only the ice storm was left around the skies, the snow and ice storm quickly covered Genji's corpse. A universe level 6 warrior, one that may have actually had a very bright future, a warrior with boundless paths ahead, had died like that on a desolate star. Within the private room, the Battle Axe Colosseum's camera equipment was incomparably advanced, even the two tears that Genji had left behind were clearly captured. The end, Genji's death, Hank's victory. Luo Fung and Thunder God had both lost their bets, Hong won. However, all three of them were deep in thought for a long time, even Hong who had one watched solemnly at the final scene of the corpse being covered by dust. Genji has died. Luo Feng said solemnly, Hanks, just requires another 178 victories to return alive. Hong and Thunder God were silent. In the universe, to rise and struggle to a position of power was indeed extremely hard. Any genius, getting careless in any situation, could result in death. And the entire Earth's strongest, were just them three, Watching this scene, Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God felt immense pressure. Leaving the dojo and returning to reality from the virtual universe network. Within the universe ship control room, Luo Feng and his brother's moods were heavy. This brutal universe. Thunder God could help but curse. Luo Feng was silent. Don't bother, there's no point in cursing. Hong shook his head, where there's light, there will be darkness, and with power and levels, there will be competition. Even on a small planet like Earth, assassins, prostitutes, liars, robbers, corrupt officials, scammers, what type of people do we not have? Much less the incomparably vast universe. The vastness of the universe only means even more brutal and scheming people. However, there are many more with light in their hearts, people chasing after their dreams. It's a myriad of types, encompassing everything. The only thing we can do now is to prepare ourselves and protect our community on Earth. Only when we become powerful people within in the universe will we have the power to actually do something. As for now, let's not think or act rashly. Hong shook his head. Luo Feng and Thunder God nodded. The ship continued to fly. After eight over hours of flying, the ship finally reached the dark universe coordinates within the solar system. The coordinates here were totally camouflaged by the Yun Mo Planet Master's space techniques, Hence other ships that wanted to come here could only come through the wormhole, and fly for a long period of time before being able to reach here. 
while Luo Feng and his group could easily just engage in universe travel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, point 3, 2, 1. Universe travel. Within the dark universe. Following the universe ship's halt, it then began to engage in its universe travel and return to their original solar system. China time year 2063, November 16, late night 10.08 p.m., a triangular universe ship entered Earth, landing in the continent of Asia, China, Jiannan headquarters cities Yangzhou city skies. Hong and Thunder God had already been sent home earlier by Luo Feng when they arrived. Yangzhou city, West Lake Yard. Daddy, Daddy. When Luo Feng, dressed in his alloy armor and battle boots arrived with his slave Ao Gu at the castle's entrance, his family had been waiting having received the news earlier, especially his two sons, Luo Hai and Luo Ping, immediately shouting excitedly and running directly towards Luo Feng. Ha ha, Ping Ping, little Hai. Luo Feng looked at his family, a contented smile spreading across his face. Oh, wah, much heavier than before. Luo Feng hugged his two sons and laughed happily. Daddy, your armor is so hard. Ping Ping waved his fist and punched it, peng, 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 knocking on Luo Feng's alloy armor. You don't even change when you return. Zhu Xin walked up to him, smiling, dressed in this metal lump. I got so used to wearing it outside, didn't get the time to change. Luo Feng smiled. The alloy armor had indeed been worn for too long. Actually, while the armor outside was hard and solid, it was still very comfortable within, of course it couldn't compare to the pure cotton sleeping gowns, however as time passed, one would naturally get used to it. Little Fung, dinner is ready. We've been waiting for you. His mother Gong Sin Lan smiled. Yes, mother's cooking is the best. Luo Fung smiled, let me go change and take a bath and we'll eat immediately. Changing from his alloy armor and boots into a comfortable nighty, Luo Fung had dinner with his family. Breathing in that aroma of home, watching the moon with family and having dinner and chatting with them. After traveling in the universe for a long time, one would indeed miss this feeling. The news of Luo Feng and his brother's return was very quickly known by the five great countries. On the third afternoon from his return, the five great countries sent 15 representatives to Luo Feng's house to discuss about the universe migration. Within the meeting room, Hong and Thunder God rushed over to the main event was the discussion between the 15 representatives and the three of them. These 15 representatives could already represent the entire powers of the five great countries. Mr. Luo, cowardice will not solve the problem. We are all very clear that there are many dangers within the universe, however, we cannot just wait till the dangers come knocking at our doorstep before we face them. The best method is to communicate and make contact with others in the universe as soon as possible and make preparations. A lady chairperson from the European Union political party said seriously. Yes, please understand that our countries have all made ample preparations. The new white prime minister from the American side watched Luo Feng and his group. The Chinese, Indian, and Russian representatives all stared at Luo Feng and his brothers, whatever could be said has been said already. Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God exchanged glances and finally, Luo Feng nodded. The three had already made their decision. I understand your thoughts. Luo Feng looked towards the leaders of the five great countries, I admit, whatever you've said does make a lot of sense. If you want to migrate into the universe, that's possible. Luo Feng emphasized. The leaders of the five great countries could barely hold back the excitement in their eyes. However, I must warn you all. The first point, reaching another life planet in the universe, I will provide the migrants with the most basic of living guarantees. However you must understand that one has to reach the star traveler level before earning the right to be a universe citizen, hence, the moment these migrants leave the planet that I control, I cannot guarantee their safety. The second point, leaving Earth is very easy, returning is very hard. Returning to Earth from the other life planets in the universe, just traveling alone takes three years. The third point, as for the information of Earth, they have to keep it totally secret, no divulging of any kind. Luo Feng emphasized. Actually, there wasn't much important information of Earth, the only important thing was about the golden horned beast. However normal citizens of Earth didn't even know the swallowing monster was the golden horned beast, and these migrants, Luo Feng would definitely not allow any of them to bring any pictures or footage of the golden horned beast. The moment the migrants left Earth and reached a planet Luo Feng controlled. 
Firstly, there were other human races on that planet, all normal people, who would know of the swallowing monster or golden horned beast. However if anyone divulges any information of Earth and betrays the humans of Earth, he or she will be executed. Luo Feng emphasized. No problem. Agreed. Agreed. Mr. Luo, it seems that you don't require three years to return from the universe. That American lady asked looking at them. Luo Feng creased his eyebrows and stared at her. That fullness mental pressure caused her to start perspiring profusely with cold sweat. Luo Feng said, this first batch of migrants, is the first contact from Earth to the universe, I don't want any accidents. The moment an accident occurs, then all of you will be guilty of sabotaging the humans of Earth. Remember the three points that I said, agree and I will agree to the migration. If you don't agree to them, then you can work hard and build your own spaceship. Luo Feng said coldly, oh, sorry my Luo, I was just curious, I didn't mean anything else. That lady said, that's how it is, the migrants will officially depart from Earth half a year later. Within this half a year, you all should choose the people wisely. Remember, just the trip back requires three years. Luo Feng said, the 15 representatives of the five great countries left, Luo Feng, Hong and Thunder God couldn't help it. There are good points to this, we cannot always take all the weight of earth on ourselves, we should let them head out and deal with problems. Without pressure, there will be no movement. Always under our protection, the humans of earth would naturally evolve slower. Hong said, right. Luo Feng nodded, these people wouldn't be able to make a mess even if they wanted to, what's more, divulging information of earth would make them traitors of earth. Everybody is from earth, so they wouldn't dare to reveal anything. And even if they did, it would still be within our control, that is, after all, my territory. Luo Feng currently had over 100 planets as his territory, however, for the migrants of earth, he was actually prepared to specially buy a few others. To the current Luo Feng, buying a few planets was indeed easy. After staying a few days on Earth, Luo Feng sat in a universe ship and headed to Mars. He also ordered a nutrition cabin via the virtual universe network. Sir, you sure you want to buy an E-grade nutrition cabin? This nutrition cabin, as the highest three-grade cabin is most for the recovery and evolution of a sector lord warrior. Also, it is also evolution cabin capable of immediately producing a universe level warrior. However, it will only make the body of the warrior into a universe level. Any further breakthroughs will be dependent on his own comprehension of domains etc. Just relying on the cabin alone is futile. Also, relying on the cabin to break through might result in one's foundations not being solid, unable to realize domains, naturally unable to ever break through to the domain lord level. Also, the cost of usage for the nutrition cabin is shocking. 100 years of usage, creating a universe level, the amount of money can be used to buy over 100 universe level slaves. Hence using it to evolve is not worth it at all. Its best and mostly used function is to heal a sector lord's body and to recover it. Its best point, its healing abilities. I have to emphasize this point, if you still think that it's fine, then sign below. E-grade nutrition cabin, requires 86 billion universe dollars. As for the nutrition liquid you require, one ton requires 10 billion universe dollars. A ton of nutrition liquid can totally create a universe level, of course, 10 billion universe dollars can also buy over a 100 universe level slaves. Oh, you require 10 tons of nutrition liquid, understood. This is the agreement. A sector lord's battle, there are many which inflict damage straight on the soul, some on the body outside. At this time, relying on the nutrition cabin to recover is the best. Hence the nutrition cabin was very expensive. It had a secondary effect. Warrior evolution. And what Luo Feng bought it for was to increase the speed of evolution of his own human body. As for being unable to break through. With the golden horned beast's body as the root, Luo Feng, you have no bottleneck at all, and no problem of your foundations not being solid. Also you have money, of course buying is the best option. This three grade nutrition cabin generates the fastest evolution speed. This was what Babata had told Luo Feng. Luo Feng took the nutrition cabin and stationed himself on Mars, beginning a long period of isolation within. This was because, Luo Feng's golden horned beast body was about to break through to the universe level, and breaking through had several very important problems, naturally he would pick Mars where no one could bother him to break through. In the world of thunder, the golden horned beast was already a star level 9. For the star level 9 to break through to the universe level, 
It required over 50 years, and Luo Feng's metal groupings had a maximum efficiency of 89 times, hence in a little over half a year, it was already ready to break through. And Luo Feng was at point of time where it was just about to do it, 